Nassim Agdam's family says this was her passion, preaching in favor of vegans, rallying against animal cruelty. In 2009, she was part of this PETA protest in San Diego, but she felt she reached the most people through her YouTube channel. Her relationship with the company made an ugly turn, though, when it changed its filters and she began to lose followers and viewers. It was a nice person, innocent person, person to, I mean, today, she never heard any her brother didn't want to show his face on camera and asked us to distort his voice, but said his family began worrying about Nassim over the weekend. She was staying at her grandmother's in San Diego, but she stopped answering her phone. They reported her missing to law enforcement. Those worries became worse when they located her car in Mountain View. I googled the Mountain View. It was close to the uh, YouTube headquarters. So, and she had a problem with the YouTube. So. We called that cop again and told him that she might, there's a reason she went all the way from San Diego to that. He says police told the family they'd keep an eye on her, but 12 hours later, the shooting happened. I, mean, I didn't know she has a gun, and then I thought maybe she's going to go and start the fight or something. Her family doesn't know why she decided to confront YouTube today, but says her birthday is tomorrow. She would have turned 38. Instead of celebrating, they're now mourning. Yeah, what is he?